Welcome to today's edition of Crypto Corner at InvestorIdeas.com. News on what's driving the cryptocurrency market. Hello everyone, this is Sam Mowers here. Welcome to episode 784 of the Crypto Corner podcast. For news today, BitFarms has shared its Bitcoin production and operations update. Mawson has signed a hosting co-location agreement for 100 megawatts. And Banksa has announced its fiscal results. Just before we get into the show today, a quick reminder that if you enjoyed this podcast, to please feel free to share it or leave us a review. And as always, I recommend checking out some of the other podcasts on InvestorIdeas.com. This includes the Cannabis Podcast, the Clean Tech and Climate Change Podcast, along with many others, all of which will bring you up to speed on the latest stock news and trends in their respective spaces. All right, so BitFarms Limited, which trades on the NASDAQ under the ticker BITF, has shared its Bitcoin production and mining operations update for February 2022. Highlights include the mining of 298 Bitcoins, that's 10.6 Bitcoins mined daily on average, and 4,883 Bitcoins in custody as of February 28, 2022. That's worth 210 million USD at a price of $43,000 per Bitcoin. Emiliano Grodsky, the CEO of the company, said, quote, Nearing the opening of our two new farms in Sherbrooke, Quebec, we remain on track to achieving our goal of 3 exahash per second by the end of the first quarter 2022. Minor deliveries accelerated in the second half of February, positioning us to quickly ramp production at these Sherbrooke locations. The Bunker and Lager farms, when complete, will represent a total of 78 megawatts of added capacity. Along with our strategic expansion underway in Argentina, these farms will play a vital role in reaching our year-end 2022 target hash rate of 8 exahash per second. End quote. Mawson Infrastructure Group, Inc., which trades on the NASDAQ under the ticker MIGI, has signed a new hosting co-location agreement for approximately 100 megawatts and associated debt facility with Celsius Mining, LLC. According to the press release, Mawson anticipates the first mining hardware under this agreement to be deployed towards the end of Q1 this year. James Manning, Mawson's founder and CEO, said, quote, We are delighted to have signed our largest hosting co-location customer to date and look forward to working closely with Celsius Mining moving forward. The industry is experiencing a shortage of energy and an energy infrastructure, rather. Having focused as a business on infrastructure first long ago, this enables us to take on strategic customers in our hosting co-location business. Demand and inbound inquiry for hosting continues to rise, and we look forward to updating stockholders on this front further in due course. End quote. Banksa Holdings Inc., which trades on the TSXV under the ticker BNXA, has announced its October to December 2021 quarter fiscal results. Highlights include a total transaction value increase of 461% year over year to 494 million Australian dollars or about 431 million USD and revenue of 28 million Australian dollars or 21 million USD this is an increase of over 522% year on year Holger Arians the company's CEO said quote our expanding partner network and growing coin options are accelerating our market growth delivering on our objective of expanding access to the global crypto market. In the October to December quarter alone, we launched a new Layer 2 solution and added a considerable number of new partners. We're excited to continue this expansion in 2022. End quote. That does it for today's Crypto Corner. If you would like to be a guest or sponsor for this podcast, contact InvestorIdeas.com. Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. And this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products, services, or securities. 
Investors are reminded all investment involves risk and possible loss of investment. To hear more InvestorIdeas.com podcasts, please visit InvestorIdeas.com slash audio. And a reminder, you can also hear our podcasts on Apple Podcasts, Audible, Spotify, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, and most audio platforms available. 